And for today's episode, we're heading to the neighborhood of Wahia Wall. Oh, look at this. Guys, for real, it's like falling off. It's like, please just eat me already. It's their namesake. I'm so glad they lived up to the hype. Oh, we got dessert coming up. You already know that. We don't even got to try the other desserts. This is it. Buy this and go home. What's going on, Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. And for today's episode, we're heading to the neighborhood of Wahiawa. And guys, if you are interested in going to Wahiawa, it's literally on the way to North Shore. And if you're looking for something to eat, like on your way there, on your way back, this is a really great video. So make sure you stay tuned for the whole thing because we got a full spread coming up. And of course, we needed backup for these epic grinds. So we brought along the Vaughn. She's back, <laughs> y'all, and she's gonna be helping us mop these plates, so. And if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It helps us out a lot. It pushes our channel and gets the algorithm in our favor. And also by liking this video, it helps us a lot as well. Yeah, don't be shy. Drop us one of these. Just hit that <laughs> button. It looks like this, but just right down there. And let's get into today's video because we are starving and it's lunchtime. Yeah, let's go. It's gonna be a long drive. Let's go. Would you follow me or would you let it be if I leave tonight? We could do this right, we'll find the remedy or would you stay with me? Guys, before we get any more into today's episode, we just wanted to announce our sponsor for today, which is Skillshare. So guys, if you don't know already, Skillshare is an online community where you and millions of other people can explore new sets of skills and take thousands and thousands of classes. And those thousands of classes have so much variety in them. They can fit towards your schedule or any skill level. So you can be an amateur like me and still take classes and learn. And the one awesome thing about that too, no more of that little skip button on the bottom right hand corner if you know what I'm talking about. And guys, there's so many classes to choose from. Like I said, there's everything from creative classes, illustration, animation, writing, or film and video, like what we're taking. There's also more lifestyle things if you're not into filming and all that, like interior design, entrepreneurship, freelancing, marketing. Possibilities are endless, guys. So to create even better content for you folks, we've been taking essential lighting skills and techniques for video and content creators by Lucas Gonzalez. And guys, that is a game changer. It really helped us with making better food content for you guys, getting those epic food shots that you guys love so much. Who knew lighting made such a big difference? Check out Skillshare right now. We're gonna leave a link in the description box down below. The first thousand people to click and join using our link will get free premium membership, guys. That's free, no cost to you, so you can explore your creativity. So now let's get back to the original program because we're hungry. Our food is waiting, let's go. Too much for sure so cold but we're always coming back for more it goes in this wicked game it's all for sure oh i've got you it would be good i want it to Like some outdoor seating over here. Nice. Look a lot of it. Explode every time you go and slam the door. I adore how we always end up. You guys, you know this is locally owned or is it like? I guess it's locally owned. Locally owned. It's like originated in uh, Kauai. Kauai. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, oh, so the original location is Kauai. Yes. Oh, okay, awesome, awesome. Um, All right. If you want to ask him, this guy used to work at the original. Oh, okay. No, I was just wondering where the original location was. Uh, 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 why I used to work up there like six years ago. Me and my best friend, he's, he's, he's one of the owners of this franchise. Oh, but it's, okay. a, it's a family owned business, but they uh, re about like five years ago, they opened it to franchising. So it's oh. like, it's, we're still small, but um, there's one in California, four in Kauai, and uh, this is the first in around. First in around. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah. All right, thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. You too. Bye. 
<laughs> it's a lot of food, guys. <laughs> what a lot. Let's go eat. Just follow the arrows, guys. Follow the arrows to happiness. Guys, Mike on the crotch, good to go. <laughs> so today, guys, like we mentioned, we went to the friendly old town of Wahiwa. If you guys don't know Wahiwa is like that town, you always drive by because you're heading to Haleiwa, which is the more known town. But yeah, don't skip Wahiwa, guys. They have some awesome eats, as we're about to show you today. So the first stop we went to is Maui Mike's Fire Roasted Chicken, guys. Locally owned and operated. Chicken is normally seen as a healthy protein, bodybuilder food, or if you're just trying to lose weight, you know? But today, uh-uh, this ain't the case. This is all flavor. I can tell already with all the spices peeking out at me, you know? We're starving though. I'm, I'm hungry, like let's get into it. So guys, we went to Maui Mike's. The surprising thing is they don't have a location in Maui. Oh, they don't? It's all right. Maui yeah. I'm grab my chicken, oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at this. Guys, for real, it's like falling off. It's like, please just eat me already. Ooh. Chicken is falling off. So we ordered the full order chicken, so it's one whole bird, mm -hmm. and it comes with two sides. We got coleslaw and baked beans. Ooh, that chicken is so juicy, moist, and tons of flavor. the formalities when it comes to good eating like this. Mm -hmm. But don't Ooh. worry, guys, we did use wipes, okay? Our hands are clean. Man, this is good. More cycle gang. Oh, those spices. Mm -hmm. spices guys it's not spicy like as in hot spice it's just very flavorful and if it gets too heavy or too hot cool it off some coleslaw mm -hmm. how's the coleslaw it kind of just looks like mayo and cabbage Mm. You, taste like, you taste some vinegar though, it has a nice acidity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some coleslaws, it's too mayo-y and watery. That's a no-go for us. This one is pretty good, nicely balanced. Not mm -hmm. too strong in any flavor, just mm -hmm. kind of just right. Oddly enough, despite the name Maui Mike's, on their website, their only locations are in here in Wahiwa and Kailua. Man, is this good. The beans are okay. More on the sweeter side, um, if you like sweet style, like um, baked beans. But oh man, the star is definitely this chicken here. It's their namesake. I'm so glad they lived up to the hype. The more salty pieces, of course, it's gonna be the skin, but it's nicely balanced because the chicken is just moist and very flavorful, like chicken flavor. So you get that nice balance of saltiness, the clean proteins, so you don't feel too guilty, you know? Who would have thought such a healthy protein can taste this delicious? Mm -hmm. And also guys, on their signs, it did say that they use fresh chicken and stuff. So I really like that they use fresh and not like frozen. Mm and they make things to order. Those beans are good. I'm on the sweet side though, huh? I've tasted way sweeter. Really? Mm -hmm. That chicken is finger licking good, y'all. Get some saltiness from that nice spice rub on the, the chicken skin, and we'll go back to the bean. And then it starts getting too heavy, go back to the coleslaw. Mm. Of course, guys, since Yvonne, Devon is here, we are sharing everything. She was eyeing out Maui Mike's chicken bacon melt. Guys, look at the heft of this sandwich. Just, this is like bigger than two of Amanda's heads. That cheese though, it looks really melty and guys, or we was love melty. Cheese. Oh, Cajun fries too. Yvonne, Ooh. Yvonne did the right thing. There's Cajun oh. fries available. Guys, always sub for Cajun fries. And guys, it is a soggy one. Mm. Why does Amanda always have her way with fries? I don't understand. Oh. And of course it comes with, oh, no monkey pods here, but falling leaves. I'd rather have that though. <laughs> the fly, the flies. Oh, I meant the fries are pretty good. And it is nicely seasoned. They don't mess around here, guys. I need to try the French fry first because although it's it is a soggy fry, it is so seasoned. If the spices on the chicken was that good, I'm sure this is gonna be good too. Oh, yep. 
definitely makes up for the sogginess. How oh, does this look moist, guys? It's stuffed. This thing is stuffed. Oh my goodness. Yvonne's giving the nod of approval. Mm. 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 Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 The cheesiness, the moist chicken, the sweet barbecue sauce. Oh man. Don't sleep on the rolls either, guys. If this is your first time on with Mike's, get the chicken first. And then if it's your next visit and you just want something quick on the go, quick lunch, I don't have time to grind, so I gotta get something to go, get the sandwich. The sandwich is, is pretty good too, guys. Mm. Oh man, I told Amanda, like, we have a lot of food, so uh, we're probably just gonna take one bite and move on, but man, I, I gotta take another one. I took like three bites, and mm. I ain't mad about it. I forgot there's bacon on here. Oh, <laughs> no wonder. The barbecue sauce is really good, and it, Pairs perfectly with these Cajun fries. Mm. That hoagie roll. Is it a hoagie? It's so good. The bread really holds up. It's not soggy or anything. It still has like a really nice texture to it. And it's not just a soggy, soupy, saucy mess. It's It really held up. You know what I like too? These places, they give you the paper plates because they know it's going to be a good time. Got a lot to cover. Moving on. Next place we visited is called Chicken in a Barrel. Mahalo to our subscriber, Tim, for recommending Chicken in a Barrel. We weren't sure if it was a locally owned business, but after talking to Chris, super awesome guy, thanks again for helping us. He reassured us that this is indeed a local business, guys. They just recently franchised, uh, not too long ago, I think he mentioned five years ago, but before that, the only locations were in Kauai. Now, they have a location here in Waihua, so let's get into this, because man, this place is known for smoked meats in a barrel. It's like their style of cooking it, is literally a drum barrel. Hang the meats on the rod, smoke it in there. You know, it's like a meat sauna. So we got a couple of things. This is called the boar dog. It's like a huge hot dog, probably smoked as well. And of course, we're onion rings. We haven't had onion rings on the show yet, I think. So mm. y'all didn't know, we love onion rings, guys. And these look like the panko crusted ones. Or is this cornmeal? Um. Since it is our first time here, we got the barrel sampler. This thing is heavy, like literally. I took Amanda's word, but yeah, I had to. That's how heavy this thing is. Look at that. Oh, is this a beauty or not? Especially being limited, we can't travel, you know? It's not like we can go to Texas for an awesome barbecue or anything. Uh, this looks like it might just uh, hold us over until then. All you uh, Texan subscribers out there, let us know if this looks good or not. It comes with a rib, smoked chicken, pulled pork and pulled beef, just like a little bit of everything they had. And we got it with rice and chili. And of course, being there's only one rib and the Vaughn's here, come on now, you know we're not selfish. We got another plate full of ribs, baby back that is. And of course their homemade cornbread, that looked good as well. They also have like, it was like honey butter cornbread on the side you could have ordered. Oh man, I, I really wish we got that. But we got dessert coming up, you already know that. And of course their coleslaw, cause we love coleslaw, why not? Gotta get a little bit of vegetables in there. Uh oh. Yeah. What? I felt a little rain. Also, we forgot to mention, we keep forgetting to mention in the beginning. Today we're filming at Lake Wilson, or otherwise known as Waihua Recreational State Park. It's a very nice area, you know? Yeah, it's really nice too. And I guess people come here to like boat? I'm not sure, but... Kayak, boating, there's a, I think there's a lot like of benches. Some, yeah, like hiking around here too, because I see little trails like going off in places. So we ordered it online, but this is just their mild. So I'm assuming this is like probably the most common sauce ordered here. I do want to try the chili though. Ooh, I see some like bacon. There's some oh, there's black so beans, kidney beans, stewed tomatoes, ground pork or beef, onions, celery. Are you guys beans in your chili kind of people? Let us know. I typically don't really like too many beans in mine, Same. but. Mmm. Ooh, that chili has some spice. To be honest though, this chili tastes more like an at-home chili like that I would make than like a Zippy's chili. Try to taste it. Doesn't it kind of taste like the one I make? I'm a little apprehensive because normally I don't like watery chilies. Oh, oh shoot. Damn it. I spilled all the beans. This looks like a very tomato -y. You spilled the beans? <laughs> <laughs> I did. Right? Doesn't it taste like the one I make? Mm. It's more on the wet side chili if y'all know what i mean like almost like it could pass as like a portuguese bean soup mm, like a little yeah. thicker i like the spices in there it mm. has a little kick of acidity you see from the stewed tomatoes Ooh. not really my style but let's try the chicken so this chicken right off the bat i can tell it's, it looks a little more dry than the maui mike's um, roasted chicken because this is smoked you know it's gonna be a little more on the dry side cheers. all right chicken up or chicken cheers Ooh. 
That's moist. Wow. Ooh, it's really soft, yo. Wow. I take that back. It's not that dry. It's pretty good. That the smoky skin is flavor. good, yo. You get yeah. smacked in the face, you know, like with smoke flavor. Let's try their mild barbecue sauce. Oh, smoked chicken, sweet, tangy barbecue sauce. Oh, man. Ooh. This is a really, really rich, sweet barbecue sauce. Ooh, it complements the smokiness, though, yeah. of the chicken really well. Really, really well. Man. So I got to balance out some of their coleslaw. Oh, this coleslaw is really tangy. Coleslaw is pretty good. There's cilantro in here. It's oh. more like an Asian slaw almost. I will say though, I tried the coleslaw. I think because of the cabbage or maybe the purple cabbage is like really thick pieces, but it's a little bit bitter to me. A bitter taste on my tongue. Shredded pulled beef right here. Mmm. Oh, mm. man. It's kind of like a brisket, no? Yeah. So beefy, meaty, smoky. Mm, so good. We haven't had barbecue in so long. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so moist. Kind of crazy. Mm. All mm. it's missing is like two Texas toasts. Make a pulled beef sandwich or a brisket sandwich out of this with this sauce. I can eat anything with this sauce. This sauce is amazing. Oops, I don't know if I had beef or the pork. Can't taste the difference. I can't tell. <laughs> smoked. You're not welcomed in Texas. <laughs> oh, you guys can see the smoke ring. This is amazing. Oh. Perfect smoke ring just right around there. You know, it's been expertly smoked. I'm just gonna, like I said, screw the formalities. Oh. Mm. Mm. Mm, so good. Mm, so porky and tender. There's an herb on here that mm. tastes like a Vietnamese herb. Do you taste it? I don't know. I just taste the smoke and the meat and the sweetness of the sauce. I'm going to try some of the rib, the baby back rib without anything. Because I see some of the dry rub on here too. Mm. Predominantly peppercorn. Uh, seriously, I think the winner here is the smokiness of the meat and the sweet tanginess of the, the rich barbecue sauce. I'm not sure if they sold the, their sauces in like a bottle. Probably just go back and buy the sauce. The rib is very meaty. It is tender and juicy, but it's not like super fall off the bone. So if you're that kind of person that likes more of a texture to their ribs, this is definitely a place to go. I think proper barbecue, every rib should have a bite to it. Yeah. I feel like if everything's just falling off the bone, you know, it's almost like Wagyu. Like, Wagyu is good, but when you have too much of it, it's like, oh, it's it kind of heavy and everything just melts in your mouth or it just falls apart. You know, I personally like kind of like a bite to everything. Like a little chew, not too tough where I have to chew and spit it out, but you know what I mean. Let us know in the comments below, do you like just fall off the bone everything or do you like a bite to your meats? Pulled pork is good too. It's a little more lean tasting than the, the beef. Mm. The beef has a lot of oil, I feel like. You can really see it in this thing. The rice soaked it all up though. Baby back, baby back ribs. All right, y'all. It's cornbread time. If you guys don't know, now you know. Cornbread is my jam. I love cornbread. Whenever there's any kind of barbecue places that have cornbread, I always have to get it. And it goes especially good with barbecue. So I think my favorite so far is that. Um, Rolling smoke in Vegas. And do a little little slice because we do have dessert coming up, y'all. Ooh, it smells nice and buttery. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. It's moist. A hint of sweetness, not overly sweet. It's light and fluffy too, y'all. Try some of this cone bread. Like I mentioned, I think it was Rolling Smoke where the cornbread had like little like kernels of corn in it. Do you remember? Mm. It was so good. If any of y'all are from Vegas, let us know. If you also go to Rolling Smoke, that place is so good. And if you are in Vegas and you haven't gone to Rolling Smoke, what are you doing? Head down there now. That place is bomb. We got the boars, dog. I mean, I'm sure it's not made out of boars meat, but there's grilled onions on here too. Ooh, looks like there's like peppers or jalapenos inside this sausage. Yeah. I'm just gonna do without first. Right, I got my own sauce because the sauce is amazing. Cheers. It smells good. All right. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mm, mm. Yeah, it is jalapenos, yeah. Mm, that's a nice kick. Has a nice snap to it too. So I gotta eat the onion rings. Oh, onion mm. rings and barbecue sauce. Mm. So good. Mmm. Can you guys hear that crisp? It's so crunchy. So mm. sometimes, unless I'm eating it fresh, I like the beer batter onions too, but those tend to get more soggy faster than these ones. Yeah, that's true. Like these cornmeal ones, they're like nice and crispy throughout. So how's it going, Yvonne? How's it? 
Man, today's meals have been amazing. Maui Mike's first. Chicken, yes. Yes. <laughs> chicken, yes. It was so good. I mean, I normally don't like chicken too much because the thing about chicken that I don't like is that it's dry. Okay, this chicken was not dry. Like, it was like fall off the bone, eat it easily, didn't have any fear, um, wanted more actually. So I, I really liked it. So, you know, if you're like that kind of person that always goes to Costco to get the rotisserie chicken, oh my God, Maui Mice is like times five times ten times hundred i don't know the sandwich we got the hoagie the bacon chicken melt i think that was bacon cheese melt whatever it was that was super good as well they do have a ranch option so you can do barbecue chicken or ranch but i did barbecue because you know it's like um just gotta go for the barbecue theme for today and that was really good more of a like a lunch option now, if you are gonna go pick one thing from maui mike's get the chicken then chicken in a barrel um chicken and barrel very good i think i think honestly the star of the show was the barbecue sauce i think like all the meats i noticed when i ate it by itself i thought it was decent like i was like oh it's not bad but when you combine it with the sauce oh it, it's chef's kiss it's like amazing so i think so definitely if you are getting from chicken and barrel definitely get the sauce dip everything or dunk everything into the sauce and i think you'll have a great time i think all the foods today were really good i mean if i had a second stomach i would eat it all but i'm so full right now and i don't know and I, there's gonna be a dessert section next so i'm scared <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right, y'all. It is a messy mess out here, but we're moving on to the dessert segment. My favorite part of every single episode. We went to a really famous bakery here in Wahiawa. And look at this bag. It's freaking huge. We got way too much that we can eat, but we're going to try most of it with you guys today. So bear with us. There's going to be a lot of dessert. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been back in a while. Usually we just get their famous brownie sticks, which you will see in a second. All right, let's see what we got here. So we got a blueberry Danish, donut sticks, fried, oily, glazy goodness. It's literally like donut holes on a stick. Oh, they put it together with the rum raisin bread pudding. Amanda wanted this Chantilly cupcake. Look how pretty this is. Like a demon nuts sprinkled on top. This looks good too. And of course, you cannot go to Kalani's Bakery. Been around since 1959, y'all. Still family owned and operated brownie sticks. Yvonne, her mouth was just gaping just now when I pulled this baby out. Seriously, it's been that long since we've had this. You have to just get one thing or if you come late and they're sold out, make sure you get these. Oh, look at this. What oh, a beauty. My goodness. It's like, you know, the, the saw, that movie saw, but- No, a uh, like a seashell Of me. a delicious goodness. Yeah, like a, <laughs> why are you so dated? <laughs> you can tell who likes the suspense and horror movies over here. I'm, I'm a dark person. Oh shoot, it's, it's raining. raining. Okay, we gotta hurry. And guys, while we're enjoying these desserts, before it starts raining and everything, we wanna give shout outs. Of course, here are our super subscribers. Thank you for your generosity, all of you. And don't mind me while I'm taking a bite of this brownie, cause it's about to rain and we want to be able to thank all of you before the rain starts. And the first person we want to say thank you to is Alfred M. Thank you so much for your generosity. And honestly, you are so nice and thank you so much. And the next person we want to shout out and thank is, is it Keenan or Kenan? Let us know if we're pronouncing it wrong. From Pololo. Thank you so much for your generosity and your donation. I just want to say really quick, this brownie has some really good chewiness to it. Oh. And I taste like a uh, hint of salt too. We don't even gotta try the other desserts. This is it. Buy this and go home. There's nuts in there. What is it, walnut? And the next people we wanna say thank you to is Robert and Susan T. Times two. Thank you guys so much for supporting us and for creating a Venmo just so that you guys can mm. support us. That really means a lot to us. So thank you so much for going out of your way. Yeah, you didn't have to, but you guys did. You guys are a real one. Thank you so much. And the next dude we wanna thank is Neil F. All the way from New York City. Thank you, Neil. Thank you for your kind words thank you for your generosity and your encouraging words too the next person we want to say thank you to is paula f as always thank you for always supporting us commenting all the time every post every instagram post every story every community post thank you so much for always supporting us thanks again paulo i hope you and your mom are having a really great time in vegas right now and good luck too hope you uh 
score big. Oh, this is so chocolatey. It's just weird. Like, it has a nice chew. It's very chewy, and then it gets moist as you chew. And the nuts too. Yeah. Nuttiness. So much mm. textures. Oh. And it's not overly sweet from that powdered sugar. Just putting it out there. And the next person we want to say thank you to is Cynthia I. Thank you so much for supporting us. This is your second time, I believe, and we have noticed that you've been commenting on our videos as well. So thank you so much for supporting us in that way as well. Thank you so much, Cynthia. And the next guy I want to thank. Franco P, much mahalos for the donation for the fly fan of which we uh, already got, but we might have to get another one. What you guys think? You know, we might have to get two or three of these bad boys. But Franco, thanks again. The next person we want to say thank you to is Michelle R. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for donating. It really means a lot to us. Thank you, Michelle. Mahalo. And the next awesome brother I want to give a shout out to, Walter C. You know who you are. You're known. You're always one of the first to comment. Thank you, Walter. Oh my goodness. Even your support on Instagram. You got some birthday cards for the Vaughn. That was <laughs> oh funny. <my> God. <laughs> I Literally, still laugh about rain that. Rain is getting in my eye. And of course, thank you to Linda and Fee for always being generous, for always helping the cause and contributing. Thank you so much, Linda and Fee. I'm guessing based on the name Fee, y'all Vietnamese, like me. <laughs> He's, they said that they're Vietnamese. Oh, for real? Yeah, they message, she messaged me. Oh, yeah, see. Two different outlets there. But anyway, come on. And the next people we want to say thank you to is Barbara and David M. Thank you so much for commenting on all of our videos and contributing to us. It really means a lot to us. Your support really helps us out. And oh my God, it's raining like crazy. Yes, thank you so much, David and Barbara. <laughs> you need to do the the camera, not yourself. Yvonne got to help the camera. No, the <laughs> camera. <laughs> wow. Just put it on the camera, yo. Now open it up. Like, yeah. And then just cover it. Yeah, right there. Yeah, not the lens though. I'm just trying. Uh, like fold it over. Oh, just um. stand over there. <laughs> just stand there <laughs> right. We want to thank Rich A. Shout outs to you for the contribution. Shout outs to Misha, um, your daughter and your wife. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for contributing. And we want to say a big thank you to Cami C as well. Thank you so much for donating. And we definitely will be going to a Monopool place. So stay tuned, okay? We have something lined up. So just keep watching soon, soon. We promise. Yeah. Just because we haven't already doesn't mean we haven't planned it. And the next person we want to say thank you to is Sharon A. Thank you so much, Sharon. And we're so happy that we were able to shout out your nieces. And thank you so much for getting back to us on email. Thank you, Sharon. And the next fellow brother, I want to thank is Mark M. Always there, always contributing. Thank you so much, Mark. So jealous you got to travel and you just came back home. Hopefully you get to enjoy everything that you've missed so far. Once again, thank you. Thank you, Mark. And thanks again for this too. I keep whacking Amanda with it. It's awesome. Oh, oh man, that's really good. That's pretty wow. good. Sorry, I had to try it. It's just calling my name. Oh, oh, that was really good. Nice cinnamon hit right there. It still has a like little crisp to it too. Yeah. It's really interesting. A little bit of a hint of like salt too. It's not super, super, super sweet. I think the salt is from the the Hawaiian seasoning above. So stupid. <laughs> the rain seasoning. And the next family want to say thank you to is Alvin, Rebecca, and Ruby. Thank you guys so much for your contribution. And you guys are so generous and so, so supportive of us. We want to say thank you so much. And we really hope that you're enjoying your vacation here in Hawaii. I know you guys just got here. So we really hope you're enjoying your vacation so far. And the next awesome person, Casey J. Thank you so much for your donation, for your contribution. And we're so glad that you found our videos inspirational to try new things. That was honestly the whole reason we started YouTube, you know, is to promote and inspire people to try local businesses and support local when you can. And you guys inspire us all the time, you know, to keep going, keep creating content, keep making great, proud content. So thank you guys so much for that as well. And the next family we want to say thank you so much to is Kristen, Kale, and Sloan. Thank you guys so much for your contribution. And thank you so much for wanting to send us gifts. And I know a bunch of you have messaged us saying that you guys wanted to send us some stuff. Um, we are working on getting a PO box or some kind of like virtual mailbox. So stay tuned for that. We will definitely make an announcement. And last, but definitely not least, the one and only recurring Andrew L. You made it again. I don't know how you do it. But every time we're about to make a shout out list, you made it in. So Andrew L, thank you again for your contribution and generosity. But all of these pastries are making me really thirsty. So I'm gonna have some soda with rain in it. A soda with hint of rain. Mm, okay. I'm gonna try their donut glaze hole right here. Ooh. 
It's like a cinnamon donut. Those are scary. Whenever desserts are like poppable and mouth size, those are dangerous. <laughs> it's no wonder they cut the brownies in strips. Very smart, Kalani. We'll try the uh, Chantilly cupcake because Amanda really wanted that. And shout out again to everyone at Kilani Bakery because you saw in the case that the Chantilly cupcakes were only in these like container of six. And uh, Amanda was like, she was actually not going to get it because she was like, oh, we don't really want to get six. We have too much food. I asked them if they could do it singly and she went ahead and did it. She's like, sure, why not? Thank you so much again to all the people at oh. Kilani Bakery. It's soft, yo. This is a chiffon cake. Oh. Oh my goodness. What is that? Look, what? Do you that see rice? that? Oh, what is that? Is it stuff? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! The thing is stuff. There's oh. filling at the base of the mm. chiffon chantilly cupcake. Oh my gosh! The last time I was this shocked at eating something was the. Uh... Oh, look at that bite. Oh, look at that bite. And okay, you know, I'll let him end it. Oh. Mmm. Oh, I'm glad you the Mark, Mark Wien's head tilt. Mm. Now do the Mark Wien's eye bulge. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he actually tried doing it. <laughs> oh my god, that Chantilly. Mm. You need a fork. I don't need a fork. Please, you're gonna, do, you're gonna chocho lip it again. I'm a so pro. Just do it. Mm. I saw that. Look at your chocho lip. Oh, wow. I just want to lick this chantilly. It's so this good. This is really good. This is this is going to give Lily Hub Bakery rubs. Mm. Oh my goodness. I said it. This chantilly gives mm. Lily Hub Bakery some competition. What is that filling? Custard? Custard? I almost like this better than the Cocoa Puff just because it's a lot lighter. And soft. And, and soft. So like cupcake is not really a cupcake. It's like a chocolate chiffon cake, which is very, very light. I did notice that they had orange chiffon too, the whole like chiffon cake. But oh my goodness. Next time anyone is out in Wahiawa and you are going to Kilani Bakery, do not sleep on this cupcake. Yeah, do we, not sleep. We always hear about the... The brownies. Yeah, everyone brings this back for families and friends, but I've never that seen anyone cupcake. bring the cupcake before. No one really talks about it. What are y'all doing? Get the cupcakes. Those are amazing. Holy cow. Is it good, Yvonne? So mm. soft. Wait, wait, wait. For the tears. <laughs> Good thing we didn't eat that one first because we would have been done. We would have stopped filming, cut, go home. That was, that was it. Yeah, good that's thing we, really good. Good thing we ate that one last. All right, y'all. The aftermath of filming, literally it's a mess. But as always, we have to throw away our trash. Yes, Malama please. Malama Aina. Please, everyone. Malama da Aina. That just means respect the land from anywhere, not just here. From where you are too, you know. Be respectful to... Oh. Whoa! Uh, be respectful to your community, guys. Pick up the trash and throw it in the trash. Lend a hand to clean our land is exactly what it says on the trash can. Wow, that was like a rhyme. It's pretty good. Yvonne says yay. Also, I don't know if you guys caught my video. I just recently turned 30. We did upload a video. Felix did a really cute surprise birthday thing for me. So if you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you show us some love on that video. And also, this might be TMI, but after turning 30, I literally sprained my back. I don't know how the heck that happened. I think that's TMI. <laughs> People should know. We are filming injured. I hit my, I injured my right knee. I don't know how. <laughs> I guess that's part of turning 30s. My back just gave I, out. I told Amanda when I turned 30, my back <laughs> gave out first. A year later, it was my knees. And then now it's my knee and my back. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming along with us on today's foodie adventure. We had such an awesome time taking you guys along here in Wahiawa. There's so many great foods, so many good things that we got today. So if you guys are in the area, definitely check them out. An iconic bakery here in Wahiawa. Also, we forgot to mention while eating, for Maui Mike's and Chicken in a Barrel, they do take online orders so do that you can schedule your order ahead or asap and just drive on over and pick them up the links to all these businesses as mentioned will be in the description box down below and we do want to say a big shout out to today's sponsor which was skillshare thank you so much to skillshare and without you guys out there 
supporting our channel, we would never have these kind of sponsorships. So thank you guys so much again for coming along with us and always supporting us on every single video. And we really, 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 really appreciate all of your contributions and all of your kind words, your support and all your communications with us. We really, really, really enjoy talking to you guys and we're so happy we can have supporters like you. It really makes a world of a difference and inspires us to film every weekend, even sometimes three times a week. Thank you again. And make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks guys, see you next time. Peace out. Bye. A wide variety the, the, of Is it? Which place did we order it came with all the sauces? I thought it was this place, right? Well, this place only has barbecue or hot barbecue. Oh, so this is from the, the Maui. Maui's, yeah. What the fuck is that? What? You don't hear that? Oh, it's a mongoose. You act like we haven't seen a mongoose. Not while picnicking. Just go all the way, you see lots. Anyway, the next, the next awesome bro. What? <laughs> uh,